Um, all right, I have to mute the walkthrough because of really loud copyrighted music. So when you first walk in, here is a coffee bar right here. You go to the right, it is the um, hardware store part. If you would have went to the left, it is the grocery store part. We're going to the hardware store part first because Robert needs some fishing line. So they have a whole bunch of touristy, you know, t-shirts and beachwear and all kinds of touristy souvenirs um, and of course a lot of fishing stuff um, there's like a whole kids section here's like little gift trinket household items pretty much they've got everything you could possibly need um, just, I actually ended up buying those napkins gonna use them in a junk journal I don't do a complete walkthrough of every aisle, but I do walk through a couple just looking around for some stuff. Um, I see some more napkins, or I think those were coin purses. I've been here before. I've actually bought several souvenirs, souvenirs here before. It's a pretty cool store. I like it. It's reasonably priced. I think all the prices are pretty fair. And they have household, this is fishing stuff, they have household stuff. This is kind of like, it's not Walmart, of course, but it's kind of like Sanibel's Walmart. It's like a little bit of everything for the locals, too, so they don't have to drive across the bridge. Um, because remember, going into Fort Myers, um, it, you know, you have to cross the, the tollway and stuff. And so for people who don't want to leave the island, Bailey's pretty much has everything you could need. So... There's even water shoes right there, sporting goods, noodles for the pool, hats, cards. You could spend just like hours walking through looking at stuff, games if you're bored in your room because it's raining. Uh, we actually didn't get rained out more than once, we just got rained out once. so. Um, it was a really good trip. We Anyway, so here is the fishing line, and Robert's actually talking to an employee who's very helpful, and... Oh, Robert, okay. I remember now. Robert just wanted me to point out to anyone who cares about fishing that, um pay attention to the length of the line because when we bought the line at the gift shop at South Seas it was only 25 yards and 25 yards on a pole is, is you can barely cast out with that. Um, in Missouri when we buy them you, it's always at least 100 yards so that's why we had to go to the store to buy more fishing line um, so his roll was at least 100 yards he just wasn't used to um, in Missouri they're always at least 100 yards so these little rolls of 25 yards we don't understand what the point of putting that on a roll is that you know I'm sure an expert fisherman could explain it but uh, yeah 25 yards is pretty pointless so anyway that's just fishing nonsense if you don't fish don't worry about it um, it's just really bother bothered Robert he wanted me to make sure you guys know to pay attention to the yards listed on the fishing line all right so now right here is the bakery and um, right off the bat, Robert sees orange cake, and so he's happy, orange crunch cake, and so he ends up getting a slice of orange, and I end up getting a little pecan pie, um, with bourbon in it. It was absolutely delicious. I'm really not a huge fan of desserts with alcohol in it, but it actually was really, really good. So, um, I liked the bakery selection here at Bailey's was, was awfully nice, like much bigger than what I remember at Jerry's. Um, so yeah, that's, there's a the little pecan bourbon tart I got. 
and the staff is friendly and the staff that these two people working this counter were from Missouri um, at one point in their lives and so we ended up talking to them for like 20 minutes it was great they were great um, I love little friendly encounters like that um, here's some more just showing the desserts just me thinking about like I really need to bake some cookies when I get home it's been a while since I've baked cookies so just talking about that to my husband and you know they have just like a typical grocery store they but they've got a huge selection of like you know everything you could need like fruits and vegetables and I really liked the layout I liked the nice wooden floors trying to avoid people. Everyone was wearing masks. I thought everyone was doing a pretty good job about social distancing except when we were except when we were leaving. Maybe that was a different store. I do remember one time I think it was we went to Jerry's later and like there was a huge group of like ten people standing in front of the doorway. It's like come on, let people through. It was just kinda weird. Um as you can see they have arrows and uh trying to get everyone to just go one way. And as you can see, that couple completely ignored the one way. Um, but, you know, if you're not used to it, I can kind of understand. I don't always notice the arrows either, as long as there's not people around. Um, I don't see an issue. So, just walking around. I can't remember at this point what we were looking for. Oh, as you can see in my hand, I found a shell guide. I think I was asking Robert if he wanted to get some more chocolate. Because, you know, you can never have too much chocolate. Um, but we had already, on the way to the resort the other day, we had already, we had stopped by Walmart real quick and picked up a case of water, picked up two things of soda. So really, the main point of coming to the store was getting the fishing line, and I'm like, okay, well, since we're here, I'm going to do a walkthrough in case anybody is curious to see the difference between Bailey's and Jerry's. I do have a Jerry's video from our last trip. Um, and then I just, you know, there's like, those are the eggs. I don't know. I always like to see people, the eggs. And um, they had an extensive frozen food section, so that was really nice. And souvenirs too, like if you know you need to pick up T-shirts for everyone in your family, you don't need to go to a gift shop. You just go to Bailey's. And then they have an extensive wine selection. I think Robert was looking. There's a wine that is like key lime pie flavored that we got on one trip and he cannot find it again even though he keeps looking so um and then there's the queenie's ice cream the last trip i had got a pint it was really really good definitely if you like ice cream pick up that local brand it was really good they have a nice little cheese and meat selection robert's carrying his cake <laughs> he's very happy about that cake they gave him a nice big slice just looking at the wine, we did not pick up any wine this trip. I do always carry, through experience, I do now always carry a wine opener in my suitcase. Because trust me, when you don't have a wine opener and someone gives you a bottle of wine, it is a pain in the butt. This is through past experience. We've been gifted bottles of wine before um, from hotels and stuff. And you know what? They don't always give you a wine opener. So now I always carry one with me in my suitcase. Yeah, I think at this point is when Robert and I are wandering, wandering aimlessly around looking for that key lime wine. So yeah, um, I have nothing bad to say about Bailey's. I enjoyed it. I liked it. I definitely don't know why I thought Jerry's was better. They're both great in their own rights. Uh, it's actually worth it to visit both um, if you like looking at grocery stores because remember it's not just a grocery store. Uh, this one has a hardware section. Jerry's also has touristy stuff so basically both stores are pretty good about one-stop shopping and like I said before I think the prices are quite reasonable for a vacation spot remember locals shop there too so they definitely can't overprice it too much 
or that would really drive away the locals and so I think everything is pretty fairly priced. I think that was a pharmacy counter so I think Bailey's has a pharmacy if you ever have to have an emergency prescription. Um, that's happened before for my husband on a trip that we had to have a prescription <coughs> sent to a Walgreens. So you just never know when you're going to need an emergency prescription. So that was nice to know that they have a pharmacy and I just pointed out those sodas right there. Robert likes different sodas when we go out but he did not pick any this trip. I don't know if you saw to the right, but they have shelling scoops. It's just like a little net on um, a long stick that helps with shelling. I personally don't use them, but a lot of people shelling do. Um, <clears throat> and then there was the candy. I was distracted with this candy. I picked up a couple and we were checking out. So they got me. They got me with that display. Okay, that was Bailey's, the other store um, in Sanibel, and um, hold on, let me put my seatbelt on real quick in case Robert starts driving. So, we last visit in May, we went to Jerry's, and I had forgot how nice Bailey's was. Um, I was saying last time I prefer Jerry's over Bailey's. Now I don't know. I really enjoyed Bailey's too. Their bakery was actually a lot bigger than Jerry's, and. Um, we actually, the employees were so helpful because Robert had a couple questions about fishing and this gentleman was helping him. And then when we were at the bakery, the two people working the bakery were from St. Louis and so we talked to them for a little bit. And even the cashier was super nice. So everyone was super nice. I'm not saying they're not at Jerry's, they were too. But I just don't remember it being like that. So, um, sorry Bailey's, just took my heart. And now <laughs> Bailey's is my favorite. So Bailey's, uh, I didn't do a complete walkthrough. But basically one side is a hardware, typical hardware um, in the USA, hardware store. And then the other side is the grocery store, typical grocery store. But the bakery was pretty awesome. They had a daily, deli section, they had a cheese section, they had everything. And then um, there wasn't any like food shortages. They did look a little low on eggs, but I didn't see anything that was short. I know when the food shortages were kind of happening in the beginning of April, all the locals were freaking out, but I don't, I don't think there ever was a problem here on shortages. I think there's plenty of food for everyone. And, um, yeah, so I pick, we picked up some desserts. I went ahead and got another shell guide, even though I've, I've bought this shell guide like five times. I want to look through it again and refresh my memory for the names of shells. Robert got his fishing line yep. and then I think that was and then I got some chocolate on the way out I mean you know if you know anything about grocery stores and how they display stuff they st strategically place certain items so you are tempted and I was tempted by the chocolate so we bought some local chocolate so that was pretty cool um yeah Bailey's and I don't know I didn't Robert did the bill did you think it was no I didn't think it was out of line I don't think it was out of line I think the I just like that they had big, I, I like that they cut this, the slice of cake. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. So That was nice. He got it's the, not prepackaged. He got the orange crunch cake where they sliced it in the bakery <laughs> right then and there in case you don't want the whole cake, which is cool because that's the cake that they sell at the bubble room, but we're not going to go to the bubble room today. We're saving that for tomorrow. And so, but yeah, we want some dessert. We didn't get any dessert at um, Doc Ford's remember I still have a whole bunch of chocolate from Norman Love. Um, see, I'm wearing my Garfield. Mm -hmm. See, I love food. I gotta that's, say, that's all I talk about is food. Everybody was so nice. And you know what? The last time we came in, they 
it's same thing. People were extremely nice the last time because I talked hockey with the guy in. Um, oh yeah, the, that's the, right. Our and that, department. It was a different guy. And that's what started, like, Robert's wearing his blues hat. I'm wearing our Colorado from last time we went to Colorado. Um, everyone, locals are super, super nice. We're not, it's, anytime we've had an issue this trip, it's been other tourists. So, yeah. no problems with the locals. Tourists are another problem. But we're tourists too, so I'm not going to complain too much. But I don't know. We come to Santa Bell enough. Are we tourists anymore? Aren't we? Locals now as much as we come. I know I've had a couple people comment on my videos like, "Do you live there?" No, I don't, but I should as much as I'm here. So anyway, that was Bailey's. Highly recommended if you need any anything at all. You forgot on your vacation to if you forgot to pack. Bailey's. No need to drive into Fort Myers. Just stop by Bailey's or Jerry's. Both are really nice.